Blind buy busts. I'm a blind buyer. That's what I do 95% of the time when I purchase a fragrance. I blind buy it. I don't have the time to go to stores in the city or in Jersey or anywhere else to start window shopping on fragrances. I'm a content creator. Shit needs to get rolling. So if I'm gonna purchase a fragrance, I'm gonna go online, maybe I'll look up notes, maybe it'll be deceived by a pretty bottle, but I'm blind buying. I am one of the blind buying kings of the world. But with that being said, I take L's and I've taken a lot of L's. So I'm gonna put you onto just the starter pack of five fragrances that I've taken a super L that have been blind buy bust. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto five blind buys that are complete busts. <laughs> What's the morning, my beautiful peoples? You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Now, these aren't like the absolute bangers. I will do a part two if you guys want me to do a part two or even three. I have enough busts that I've purchased in the past that we can go along a gamut of blind buy busts. But these are ones that I just thought off right off rip that I knew were blind buy trash busts. I'm not going to use, it's just why. So one of the first fragrances that came to mind, it still boggles me how so many people really enjoy this cheapy fragrance. Yes, it has outstanding performance, but it smells like hot garbage. And that's Rasasi Shura. This junk box is disgusting. I didn't find any redeeming quality in this fragrance. It was a complete bust. Granted, it's an inexpensive fragrance, all well and good, but it doesn't smell good, not to me. I can't say it's the oud. For me, it felt like it had a animalic, cumin-ish, body odor, sweaty, hairy asshole smell about it that just smelled obnoxious off of my skin. It was one of these repulsive kind of scents off of my skin that really never had me wondering, oh, let me re-smell this so it can possibly redeem itself. Absolutely not. So for me, that was the first blind buy bus. Next one. The next one is when you think you a baller, right? And you going in Zara and like, yeah, I'll take all of it on some big boy willy shit, throw down the Amex and charge it, son. And you figure out that like, 85% of the fragrances just smell okay. So you're like, other than like three, like vibrant oud fragrances from Zara, the rest are just, I, granted, they're not expensive. It's just, I got a bunch of colorful ass boxes that really don't smell that great. They're okay. And yeah, for the price, they're okay. But it wasn't a success. Like I wanted a bunch of rich, warm and tobacco, but I was hoping that you get that same sexy scent profile all across the board, just like the Vibrant Ouds or whatever, even if they have Creva Ventus-ish type DNA. I want kind of, you know, I want to discover some gems in there. And what I discovered is I just spent a lot of fucking money in colorful boxes. Next one. Now this one was a complete mistake and that's Mont Blanc Individual Tonic. Me trying to discover the new hidden hype, something that people don't talk about. There's a reason. It's whatever. It's super boring. It's not individual, like leave individual alone. Individual is one of those cheapy fragrances that has such a 4X scent profile. And this one is just completely that way that it had no sense even having the name individual. Completely boring, basic bitches. They try to make it fun with like Juniper Berry or whatever the fuck having a gin boozy note. Trash, don't buy it, next one. Another one in the space of shoe raw that a ton of people, this has been on so many lists of it being a lit, cheapy fragrance. Versace the Dreamer. You dreaming if you think this shit smells dope. And I know a lot of you do, and that's fine. You know, you like what you like, enjoy what you enjoy, and you know, be stupid. Different strokes for different folks, and I get it. I'm not gonna like what you like, you're not gonna like what I like, but you liking that makes me question your entire existence and you, <laughs> and me not liking it is gonna make you question my entire existence and that's awesome. Yo, I just, it never did shit for me. That tobacco on it just came off overly synthetic. It didn't smell good off of my skin. Maybe it's my pH level. Maybe I was extra drunk that entire year. I, it, it doesn't smell good to me. If you go on shit like, uh, 
for Grantica or Bass Note, people praise this shit like it's so lit in these streets. Don't get it. It's just not my vibe at all. Doesn't smell good on me. Didn't garner one compliment. I've gotten only like weird looks off the shit. Not a good fragrance for me. For me, a complete blind buy bust. Next one. And the last fragrance I'm gonna mention on this volume or this part is that latest Dolce Gabbana exclusive edition of The One. It was just trying to be the one EDP and trying to blend in a little bit of a Middle Eastern flair. Unnecessary. This is just one of those fragrances that you just don't have to buy. Just get the one EDP. If you're looking for something like the one EDP, it's not astronomically expensive and cost compared to the exclusive version costs more than the EDP when it's trying to be the EDP with a little bit of a twist. Just get the EDP. There is no purpose to have something with a prettier kind of bottle and maybe a little bit of a scent, whatever. Don't matter. It, it's worthless. For me, it was just like, oh, I bought it for content and guess what? It's nice, but I don't need it. It's just the one EDP just smacks the shit out of that fragrance tenfold. And these are five fragrances that are blind by bus part one. If you would like to see a part two, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Let's keep spending more bread. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.